Okay, exercise five. They really like to test you here. In exercise five, it's, it looks like exercise four. This is page 290. Exercise four, you're trying to figure out a K given the number of crossings. And then here on number five, they call them solutions rather than crossings, but really that's the same thing. It's the number of uh, times that a... Um, that the parabola will cross the x-axis. So uh, let's do a couple of these. Let's start with B uh, and if I'm still alive after B we'll go on and do E. So B says k square, x squared plus x plus k equals zero and they're two real solutions. Two real solutions. That must mean that the uh, discriminant will be positive. Alright, so let's uh, let's take a look at that. So this is B that's kx squared plus x plus k equals zero. And I'm going to write the discriminant here, b squared minus 4ac, because I like to be reminded of that just in case I forget. And that's why I'm color coding it too, so in my mind I've got this pink smear called the discriminant. So kx squared plus x plus k equals zero. So the discriminant then is b squared, which b is a 1, so that's 1 squared is 1, minus 4ac minus 4 times a, which is k, times c, which is also k, equals, well, it doesn't equal 0, but it has to be greater than 0, because I want two real solutions. It must be greater than 0. So, let's put that together. I've got 1 minus 4k squared is greater than 0. And if I subtract 4k squared from both sides, i got 1 is greater than 4k squared. And if I divide both sides by 4, I get 1 over 4 is greater than k squared. Now I have to do a little, put on my thinking cap a little bit. I know that the square root of 1 quarter is 1 half. A half times a half is a quarter. Um, but how does that work in, in this? Um, the question is, what values of k will result in a positive discriminant? Well, if it's if a quarter has to be larger than k squared, then half squared equals a quarter. So if this was, let's say this was larger, let's say a th if I went down to say a third squared. Well, a third squared would give me 1 over 9. And the question is then, if k was 1 third, k squared would be 1 ninth. And is 1 ninth smaller than a quarter? Yes, it is. So if I take my number line, And I say that this is plus one half, and this is minus one half. One third satisfies this equation. So one third satisfies that a quarter is larger than k squared, because a third squared is down here. So this value is okay. Anything in there is all right. Let's look on the negative side. If I had negative a third and it was squared, I would end up with a ninth. So well, that's okay too, because one ninth is in fact less than one quarter. What if I had something larger? What if I had two? What if I had this? Two. Well, two squared is four, and four is not less than one quarter, so that wouldn't work. But what it means is that anything in this section here, any number uh, in in this area larger than one half and less than, or sorry, less than one half and larger than negative one half, any one of those could go in for k. It would be squared. It would be less than one quarter. So my range of solutions then are those between negative one half and one half, and that's my answer. This is a very sticky point here that requires you to do some thinking in terms of a number line in order to figure out what that means.